Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Equal Mining. Today we're talking about Pulsar. Now it's a CPU mineable coin and now it can be mined with a GPU. And that's really exciting because the profitability for this coin is up about two and a half times what Ethereum profitability is at the time of this recording. We're gonna be talking about how to download the wallet, install the wallet and get an active address. We're gonna talk about the, we're gonna talk and download the mining software. We're also gonna be using Zerg Pool. We're gonna be taking the information from Zerg Pool putting it in our mining software, and then start mining. We're gonna go from start to finish, A to Z, soup to nuts. We're gonna do it all. But first, let me just say, this isn't financial advice. You have to do what's best for your pocket or pocketbook. Unless you're taking the money that you're making from this and swapping it out and using it, you never know where the price might go. So just be careful with that. Now, I'm using two RX 488 gigabyte cards, and they are just about the two worst cards you could use for doing this. I don't even have it tuned with uh, Afterburner, but for argument's sake, we're gonna be using it for the demonstration tonight. This is really a core intensive algorithm them so these are not the cards to use you're going to want to use something from the rtx family 3060s, 7080s, and upwards uh, they will be much better for this but again for tonight we're just going to be using these so listen there's a lot to talk about all the sites that i talk about today and show you i'll have links in the description below let's talk about pulsar so this is their landing page and like i mentioned before any of the websites that we go to today i'll have links in the description below and really quick before we get into everything else let's go ahead and just little bit about uh, Pulsar and what they are and what they're doing. As technology advances, the crypto market follows. Each chain and token has their own unique purpose. Our coin has much to offer every person regardless of your knowledge on the topic. With understanding of this market and the end user, we decided it would be best to develop our own blockchain. Doing this gives Pulsar the ability to take advantage of the benefits of using the blockchain technology and apply it to create a balanced economic system for its users. Our plan is to develop a wallet that decentralized exchange that will put Pulsar coin, PLSR, in the forefront of the app. Here, users will have the ability to trade, send, and accept the coin of the, at their own leisure. With low transaction fees and quick transaction speeds, it makes applicable for more regular transactions. In tandem with that, the app will feature a data collection reward system that, when approved from each individual consumer, will collect data information from each user and sell that information to data collection agencies rewarding the user. This system will return spending power back to the consumers. We want to innovate the blockchain ecosystem as well as inspire innovation. So anyway, it sounds like they're trying to make a better mousetrap in short. I really highly recommend you going through and reading everything about them. Uh, they break down the uh, curve hash, which is curve 25519 and uh, they do uh, proof of stake and proof of work. So there are two ways to earn um, rewards through them. But today we are doing the mining side. So let us take a look at that. So the first thing we might as well do is get a wallet. So we'll just go back over to their landing page and scroll down just a little bit and you come to downloads. If you just click and grab this and drag it left or right, you can scroll through these. The first one says miner, but that's not the miner we're using. This is for CPU mining. So we'll just grab that and drag it over. We have the wallet for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. So we will go to the Windows and download it, install it. I just went ahead and installed it with all the default settings. So just go ahead and click through if that's where you want it. Uh, there is an option to put the file in a specific uh, location. Um, it's up to you how you want to deal with that. But just go ahead, I did it on the, all the defaults. And once I installed it, I got a window that looked like this. And it started to download this file. Uh, these are all the transactions that have happened. And if you do a transaction today, it won't show up on this yet uh, for me because I haven't downloaded everything. It's saying I have about 14 hours left. It's been going for about four or five hours as it is. Um, so it's, uh, it is gonna take a little while to do. So I'll just let this happen overnight. Uh, you can go ahead and click hide on that, and that's okay, and go to file and receiving. Here you can go ahead and click new, and it will give you a new address right here. Uh, I went ahead and put in uh, EM for Euclid Mining for the label. You can leave that blank if you want, uh, but this is what you're looking for right here, and you just go ahead and copy it. And now that we have our address, the best thing I guess next is to go ahead and get the miner. So the mining software we're going to be using is right over here and this is wild rig wild rig uh, 0.3 uh, 1.9 it's the beta uh, there are several versions of this already that they've done uh, but for argument's sake i went ahead and downloaded the latest version that's the one that i'm using right now and i've got that running over here 
and this is it running on my computer so you can get an idea of what it'll look like on yours all right so let's minimize that so once we've downloaded that okay now that we've got that software downloaded we're going to go ahead and go I, it goes to my download folder i unzipped it and then i put it in a folder that i have on my computer and that particular folder is set up with a, um, a, a rule in uh, the virus protection uh, or whatever you're using as it's it's excluded so it's not being scanned or, or worried about for anything that I put within that folder so I'll take this folder after I've uh, unzipped it and I'll drop it into there if not you'll need to uh, give uh, an exception to the folder that you're wherever you're going to put this folder uh, in the uh, virus protection settings in Windows or whatever uh, that you're using so uh, now that we've got that the next thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at a pool so here's our pools and all i did was just type in uh, pulsar right in the search it came up and when i clicked on it these are the pools that have it we're going to be using zerg pool um, you can choose any one you like as you can see the cpu mining uh, difficulty down here and it has uh, jumped a little bit <laughs> You can see right here at the very end, uh, in the last couple days, it has shot up since everybody's been able to use this software to mine this with the GPU. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, activity on this. So we're going to be using Zerg Pool. And when we click on Zerg Pool, it'll bring us right over to it. And this is where we're going to set up Zerg Pool. Okay, so um, here's where we're at. So let's, let's start here. So what we're going to do is we are going to set Zerg Pool up. The information we get from here, we're going to take that and well, first, the information we put in here, we're going to take and put into our mining software. To fill this out, we need the wallet. So we need our address from our wallet that we just copied and created. So let's go ahead and just step by step through Zerg. I do have a video of Zerg I put out a long time ago, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the whole thing. So I'm in North America. We're going to go there. Uh, the algorithm that we're looking for is curve hash right there. Now, the payout currency it depends on what you want to get paid out in. If you want to be paid out in Bitcoin, you can. And then you put your Bitcoin wallet address right here. And then any uh, whatever you're mining in here, it'll just pay you out in Bitcoin. So that's that's a choice that you'll make. For me, I think part of the uh, experience uh, for this is going to be um, getting their coin. Uh, and I think that's ultimately what I want, because eventually when you can get enough of their coins, you can stake that for rewards uh, with them if you wanted to or you can swap it out and get some cash and you know go to the movies well, you know, whatever you want to do with it really so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to choose them now we are going to go ahead and put my wallet address in here uh, that we copied uh, from over here if you remember all we did was file uh, receiving and we highlighted this and clicked copy and then from there, we just uh, control V to paste it here. So we've got North America, curve hash. We've got the uh, pulsar, the wallet. Now the target coin is going to be the same thing. So uh, PLSR. Uh, this will stay blank. And the worker name that we're going to use for this one is uh, 2 GPU. Uh, because that's the that's the rig that I have right now that I'm just mining on this one. Like I said, this is this is a two RX 480s, eight gigabyte, and like I said, this is very core intensive to mine this. So mining it with these GPUs in particular is a bad idea. It's these are not uh, even remotely close uh, to doing. That's why these are good on Ethereum, but they're not going to be good when Ethereum goes away and we're doing something like Ravencoin or chasing the next one like this. And uh, these these will not be the big winners of uh, of that transition, unfortunately. Uh, but I do have a couple, so uh, I'll probably just do a little spec mining like I am now with something like this and just, you know. Anyway, we can choose if we want to do solo, regular, or party. Uh, regular is just your typical mining. Uh, solo, obviously, it's you. Or party, if you want to have a group of people, uh, only a certain group of people mining uh, from one set, you can... So all we're going to do right now is we could click copy and it'll take this line right here. Okay. And that's the line we need. But for what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get my miners and let's see, wild rig. So I'm going to bring that over 
and show you what we got here. So here is Pulsar right here. What I did is I went ahead and I made a copy of it, just that way um, if I had made any mistakes, I didn't want to be messing up the original. So I always do this whenever I'm mining something new that I just want to make sure I have everything perfect. I'll just make a copy of it and throw it in there. So uh, we'll, we'll use uh, the original right now only because, um, actually we'll just go ahead and make another one of those because the other one, uh, the copy that I'm using now is the actual one that we were using. Uh, that you saw that I'm mining on. So we'll just go ahead and edit on that one. And here you are right here. So basically you'll be editing this section here. But um, what we're gonna do is we're going to leave all of this the way it is. And from here over, we're gonna get rid of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and here it is right here, the stratum plus TCP colon forward slash forward slash we're going to take everything after that and we're going to right click on it and copy and we'll come back over here and we can get rid of that and control V and drop that in there instead. So now it's got the uh, uh, everything behind here is is left in for the mining software and everything after here which was this section we just put after it for what we need our variables to be within Zerg pool. Um, and this is what makes Zerg pool a little confusing when I first learned about it is, is putting the, the information from here into the mining software is just, um, it's not a, the, the most straightforward. Uh, anyway, uh, and that's it. Once you have that in there like that, you can go ahead and uh, close it and save it. And then let me bring that window back up. You just go ahead and double click on it. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and close mine. I'm just gonna go ahead and start that up and I'll pull that over here for you. So if you wanna see on Zerg pool your activity to see if your miner is mining and everything's working straight, all you do is come over here to where it says wallets and click on that. It'll bring you to this page here. Now you can see mine is already in here because I was looking at it, but nonetheless, if you wanna come back to your wallet, go to file, receiving, uh, highlight it, copy, close. Make sure you minimize and don't close this because it's gonna take a while to update. If you wanna see your progress, you just click on this bar right here, it brings it up. But we're just gonna minimize that so it keeps on working. We're gonna go ahead and put the address in and scroll down to P, Elemental P, and right there, and we can click Find. And if you scroll down, you can see the activity that it has. So it has been working, it has been mining. As you can see, mine's being a little wonky only because I've been uh, testing a little bit and just trying out some different things. I really need to use the afterburner and, and tune these cards in. Again, these cards are not meant for this kind of algorithm. Uh, this is very core intensive and these are more for Ethereum. These are more memory driven cards, whereas the other cards like the 3060, 3060 Ti could take a heavier uh, cores uh, for mining something like this uh, or like a Raven coin. Uh, where, like I said, this is great for Ethereum um, and um, uh, Ethereum Classic, uh, a couple others, but ultimately this is not the card to be using to mine this. I'm just doing this for testing and fooling around. Who knows? Maybe later on I'll go ahead and grab some of those 3060s or the 3060 Ti rig and do it for, you know, um, I don't know, a couple weeks or something and just see what happens. So anyway, listen, y'all, I hope this video helped. And if it did, if you want to subscribe, you can hit the button. It's going to be right over there. If you want to watch any of my other videos, I'll have one right up over there. I appreciate y'all checking in. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time.